As many of you well know, social media is a big part of what we do here. The idea is that you interact with us, that you let us know your thoughts and the things that we discuss, and maybe even give us an idea for something you want us to talk about in the future. A bit of a dangerous request, I know. But we've recently noticed something that we think we should probably make you aware of. If you share a video or post a comment on one of our videos on social media, you need to make sure that post is public, and that includes the hashtag ForthrightTV. Otherwise, we can't see them, we can't respond, and then you think that we don't like you anymore. That leads to awkward silences, late night phone calls, and more than likely, me standing outside your apartment at 2 a.m. singing sad love ballads. Baby, come back. What? What can I say? I'm a bit of a hopeless romantic. With a strong emphasis on hopeless. The internet was buzzing this week over a story that was both tragic and hopeful. The wife of NBA associate head coach Monty Williams was killed in a brutal car accident on February 9th. According to the Associated Press, 52-year-old Susanna Donaldson was going 92 miles per hour in a 40-mile-per-hour zone. When she swerved to avoid another vehicle, she went into the other lane and hit Ingrid Williams head-on. Donaldson died at the scene while Mrs. Williams died the following day. And while the car accident is indeed tragic and did get some media coverage, it didn't get anywhere near the media coverage that the funeral did. Why? because of what Monty Williams so beautifully said. In the funeral service, Monty said, quote, we cannot serve the Lord if we don't have a heart of forgiveness. That family didn't wake up wanting to hurt my wife. Life is hard. It is very hard, and that was tough. But we hold no ill will toward the Donaldson family. And we, as a group, brothers united in unity, should be praying for that family because they grieve as well. So let's not lose sight of what's important. And it's this that captured the hearts and minds of so many. Why? Because this is the radical kind of forgiveness that Christians should be known for. For a world that has gathered so many misconceptions about the Christian faith, I sincerely hope that this was at least a brief moment of clarity, a glimpse of what we truly represent. Mr. Williams was very clear about his faith. In fact, specifically, he was very clear about his faith in Jesus Christ that led him to these understandings. And that is what I hope that people hear, because that is who we are. We are people who forgive and love when the world cries out for blood and vengeance. We are a people of hope in the face of tragedy. We are the ones who choose grace instead of anger. I can imagine that many people have probably already said this, and many more probably will, but from us here at Forthright, Thank you, Mr. Williams. Thank you for being bold enough to speak Christian forgiveness loud enough that a world can hear it. So what are your thoughts on the radical kind of forgiveness that Mr. Williams spoke of? What is it that you think captured the hearts and minds of so many people when it comes to this radical kind of forgiveness? Let us know in the comments down below or publicly on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram using the hashtag ForthrightTV. I'm Anthony Creedon, and I'm just trying to be forthright. All right, so we here at Forthright decided to uh, write our own little power ballad to sing outside your window to remind you to keep those posts public so that we can actually respond to them. And here's how it goes. <laughs>